So let's switch gears, move into the, the story behind the song. Sure. My first one, probably my absolute favorite is For My Broken Heart. Okay. Every time I hear that song, it's like I'm hearing it for the first time. Here's the story, and it involves one of the greatest writers that uh, Nashville has ever known and singers, and he's not alive anymore. He, he had a short life. I think he died at 37. His name was Keith Palmer. Keith Palmer did a demo for me. Uh, he sang a demo for me. Uh, and when he was done, he, he, I said, you did great. I said, you're a writer too. Let's write some time. And he said, sure. And so we booked a date to write. And here's the true story of that. I was very nervous because it was a new writing appointment. And I was going to cancel that appointment because I was so nervous. And also Macy's was having uh, the Clinique sale. And I thought, wow, if I go to, to Macy's now, I'll be the first to get that Clinique bag. You know, the, 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 where you have all the, to the, the special stuff. I love that stuff. Still do that. But something in me said, no, Liz, show up. You know, Keith seems like a nice guy. And I showed up anyway. I showed up for work. I did not go get the Clinique bag. And if I had gone to get the Clinique bag, I would have deprived myself of me of really working with one of the best writers in town, Keith Palmer. I would have deprived myself of my first number one song. I would have deprived myself of, of my first publishing deal. I mean, there were, I mean, I was a nobody when I was writing for my broken heart. I was a waitress who, who was obsessed with Clinique bags, you know, but I, I went to that writing appointment and that writing appointment changed the whole course of my life, Wow! which is really unbelievable. The decisions you make. I mean, I, I almost didn't do it cause I was nervous, you know, and what a tragedy that would have been. I was, and I was also very close to moving back to New York. I, it was five years at that point and nobody was cutting my songs, but that was the one. And I had no idea, you know, I went to later after I wrote with Keith, I went back to the bluebird to finish. Actually I was working at the German restaurant. Then I went to the German restaurant and worked until one in the morning. I had no idea that I was sitting on my career song. Wow. No, no. And, and so I tell my, like to tell my students, show up you know you just never know you never know what's going to happen anyway that's that story do you remember the first time you heard reba sing that incredible cho chorus like her voice just soars and it's amazing yeah yeah i do and i, re well, I remember the first time i heard it on the radio I was late for a writing appointment and i had not heard the song on the radio yet and lo and behold it came on the radio and I could not just go to my writing appointment. I had to, I had to drive my car. I drove my car and parked it in front of my first apartment that I got when I lived in Nashville. And I looked at the apartment and I said, we did it. It really happened. It was, it, it's, I won't lie. It, it was more than exciting. Yeah. I, I got chills when you said that. It was, it, it was wonderful. 